Hey everyone, Will Brink here, BrinkZone.com. Uh, if I sound uh, off, a bit off, or look a bit off, even or more off than usual, uh, I'm just getting over this cold that everybody has, and uh, not the worst cold I ever had, but it's one of those colds that just like hangs on. Anyway, um, I want to talk about dinitrophenol, or DNP. Um, now, some people, you know, have been around long enough in the in the game, in the sports, uh, especially around bodybuilding, probably heard of DNP, but I'm going to give some background. Um, <clears throat> I am also going to post a link to an article, so if people want details and more on it, so I'm not going to go too, too much into, like, mechanism of action and that type of thing. But um, it, it's actually sort of made a resurgence in the last few years. I, I've known about DNP as a fat loss compound since uh, probably mid 90s and I'll, I'll give you a, a story about that um, how that how that came to be but um, I, I decided I had written an article about it like I say it, it kind of came back up on my radar uh, last year or so and um, I actually forgotten all about it but uh, like I say it, it sort of made a resurgence but um, Dr. David Sinclair <clears throat> uh, who you probably most of you know who David Sinclair is, but if not, David Sinclair is a, is a well-known researcher in, in the anti-aging field, uh, businessman, um, self-marketer for sure. He's he's a bit of everything, but uh, he's he's very well known certainly um, in in anti-aging circles, and he's written books. and uh, He was on uh, Joe Rogan not that long ago, and uh, actually was talking about DNP a little bit, and. Uh, he, he actually referred to it as, as the perfect weight loss pill um, or perfect weight loss drug. I think he said perfect weight loss pill. I'll have to go look. Um, and he's, it sounds like he is working on some, some drug uh, that sort of has, the, has a similar uh, mechanism of action of DNP, maybe a safer DNP. That, that's sort of what he, he sort of uh, intimated um, uh, that he's working on. So that, again, kind of reminded me that, you know, maybe um, – uh, there might be some interest again from my perspective as somebody who's like I say been uh, in in the game <clears throat> exposed to DNP and stuff for uh, probably a lot longer than David Sinclair and a lot of other people. So like I say we're talking mid to early nineties. Now, how did I come um, before we talk a little bit about it? Uh, but so how did I actually come into knowing about DNP? Well, the person that resurrected DNP was Dan Duchesne. And again, uh, anyone who's been used to read the magazines and knows who the gurus were and all that knows who Dan Duchesne is. And Dan Duchesne was uh, a very well-known entity uh, back in the day, and he was a bit of a mad scientist. Um, and, uh, oh, he was a bit reckless and uh, just, he was, uh, you know, a, a, an interesting, funny um, person and uh, was a, a friend of mine, um, again, back in the day, he, uh, he passed away some years ago. And so again, not, not, won't talk too much about Dan Duchesne, but the person who resurrected it because DNP has been known, I think a DNP actually was actually the very first weight loss drug that was even was our first compound used specifically for weight loss, which back in the twenties and thirties, it was a popular weight loss drug. And that was only again, by mistake, they found that, um, people that were exposed to it lost weight. Uh, without having to change their diet and that type of thing. I and mean, it's got quite a background. It's got quite a history in the use of things like explosives. Um, it was I actually used to call it um, uh, dieting by bug spray because it was used in, in bug spray in, in high enough doses, it's it's toxic. And we'll talk about that too in a second. And uh, Dan didn't appreciate that when I, when I called it dieting by bug spray. So uh, mid-90s, uh, I'm at a show, big show. I don't remember what show it was, but Dan and I had... Uh, we're going to meet for dinner, and uh, he he comes to dinner with this woman, this, uh, clearly a female bodybuilder, very lean. She was obviously getting ready for a show because Dan, again, worked with uh, athletes, um, bodybuilders mostly, and specifically female bodybuilders. He liked he specifically liked to work with female bodybuilders, and he was well-known for, for that. And this was a well-known uh, person. I mean, she was well-known in the magazines. I'm not going to name names. But anyway, they sit down, and... Um, she is sweating profusely. She looks like she just finished a workout. Um, she's sweating profusely. Her face was red. She looked very uncomfortable. And I'm looking at her, and I'm looking at Dan, and I'm like, you know, is he going to, like, tell me what's going on here? And I'm talking, hey, Dan, what's up? And I'm looking at his, his girlfriend. I, I don't know if they were dating. I think they were. But anyway, I know he was definitely working with her, but he, 
Sometimes they were girlfriends. And she was like wiping her head off with a towel. Uh, and we're talking. And then some uh, food shows up. And she faints. And her face goes right into her food. And Dan picks her by the hair and pulls her face out of a... And it was in um, uh, spaghetti. I remember because she had red marinara sauce all over her face. It was like right out of a you know a sitcom or something. And he wipes her face off and she wakes up. She's like, oh, what, what, what happened? What happened? Um, so, uh, and, and Dan, la- he thought it was sort of funny because that's typical of Dan. He was, uh, again, a bit of a uh, kamikaze in that respect. Um, so he said, oh, well, da- well, she's using this, uh, this drug that I, I, uh, discovered, uh, this called dinitrophenol DNP, uh, and it uh, increases your, your core body temp. And that's why she's, she's sweating so much. And, uh, let me, uh, you know, get some water. She's just dehydrated or whatever. I, I don't think the DNP... Uh, to back up a little bit, I don't think the DNP was the cause of the fainting part. I, I, you know, obviously, there's a lot. There's a lot of going on. She was she was very depleted. She was very close to a show. She was very lean, uh, and I don't know if she was you know exactly the cause of that. Um, but needless to say, my initial introduction and impression of DNP was not a good one. Uh, I didn't come away feeling very very um, enthusiastic about the use of DNP. Now. Again, because of the timing, um, you know, whatever, 90s, early 90s, somewhere in that ballpark, uh, you know, it's not like I, I I could just go home, you know, and look up on the internet uh, some studies on DNP and, and get a, a better sense of it. I mean, DNP is what they call a mitochondrial uncoupler, and it it makes the, the production of ATP much less efficient. And the energy is lost as heat. And so this is why people, you get hot. And you're literally, you know, quote unquote, burning calories uh, without doing anything. Um, and uh, if you want to know what more about it, just read the article linked. I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to go into a lot of discussion, but it's, it's an old drug. Um, now it was removed from the market. Um, now, while DNP may be very close to a perfect weight loss drug, quote unquote, or pill, what have you, uh, there's a catch, because there's always a catch, right? Well, the catch is that at, at, at higher doses, it's it's dangerous. A- and the reason it was taken off the market uh, was that, you know, there there were some deaths. Uh, not a lot. I, I mean, again, I think I think there were hundreds of thousands of people that had used it back in the 20s and 30s. And, you know, a, a small number um, uh, died. I don't know how many, but it, it, again, it, it, it wasn't probably a lot, but you were talking the twenties and thirties, but the, it was removed as a weight loss drug. And then it just disappeared. And like I say, as I, if I recall, my memory's a little fuzzy, but I believe that Dan actually learned about it in prison from a doctor who was like his cellmate or something. Uh, who I don't, I don't know if he was in prison for using DNP. Um, I am not, not sure about that, but that's that's how the story uh, that's how the story goes. So um, now with the internet, of course, and having access to um, uh, having access to data banks, data banks, uh, medical data banks that are really easy to get to, and all you know, it's really easy, easy to go look up. Um, I will say, I say my my early impression of DNP was very negative and was in the I wouldn't touch that with a ten foot pole um, realm. I would say that my, my, <coughs> my, you know, so it disappeared. I hadn't thought about it in, in de- a decade or decades or whatever. Uh, and then, like I say, it sort of, I guess because of the internet, um, it, it, it's made a bit of a comeback uh, and people are using it. And uh, it was actually some, some good articles out. One of them, again, I linked to. And so it kind of came back on my radar. And then I say, and now even David Sinclair is talking about it. So... Let's talk about um, the, the, the real uh, downside of DNP um, is DNP is sort of the poster child for the term, the dose makes the poison. Now, anybody who's, you know, any medical professional, anybody who's taken, you know, pharmacy, uh, pharmaceuticals understands, uh, you know, with the three Ds, which is dose, drug, and duration, which is that, you know, anything falls into the three Ds. Uh, but the thing about DNP is that the, the, Toxic dose, the dangerous dose, is not that far uh, from the therapeutic dose, what, what is basically referred to as the LD50. So the thing about DNP, it is a highly effective weight loss drug, and at the proper doses, it's actually not even bad for you. It actually has some medical and anti-aging potential benefits. It, it actually reduces oxidative stress. 
um, and there's some other papers that I, I had found that I will say has sort of changed my my position on DNP in terms of its overall toxicity. You know, not not uh, acute toxicity. I you took too much and it killed you. But I mean, just in general. I again, um, I, I didn't really look into it enough to say well. Is somebody taking this under medical supervision, which is the only way to, you would ever want to take it, excuse me, <coughs> oh, God, um, but uh, on a therapeutic doses, there actually may be some benefits. It may actually, say, have some uh, anti-aging benefits and stuff. Like I say, the problem with DNP, it is legit dangerous, and I would never recommend to anybody to take DNP from some online source that you got it. Uh, and so forth. I think the DNP, uh, it, it should be available to medical professionals to use, um, it, you know, dose correctly and, and monitored and all that. Um, and under those conditions, uh, it actually looks like a, a, well, as I say, as Dr. Cousin Claire uh, said, it's a pretty close to a perfect weight loss drug in, in that sense. Um, but I, I will also say that back in the day, um, People that I knew that used it usually reported feeling really awful. That was also a common. Now, again, <clears throat> remember, a lot going on with pre-contest bodybuilders, a lot of moving parts there. So I've never spoken to anybody who used it, again, at therapeutic doses under medical supervision. Uh, you know, wasn't doing wacky bodybuilding stuff who, who uh, reported anything about how they felt. I can only give the feedback from some kind of extreme conditions. And again, typical of bodybuilders and typical of Dan Duchesne, who was, you know, recommending the doses. Uh, there was probably a, a more is better attitude towards the stuff because bodybuilders, you know, any, if any, if anything works at X dose, it's, they're going to try it at 10 times the dose. Um, that's a, just a, a given of the, of the personality type of, of, uh, attracted to being bodybuilders. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so it came back on the radar. Um, and it is, has been sold through online sources, you know, uh, research chemical sources and so forth. And I would absolutely not recommend going that route. Uh, and uh, basically, if the an excess dose uh, of DNP um, basically will cook you from the inside out. I mean, and it's not a pleasant way to go. Uh, and there is, at, at a high enough dose, there is no cure for it. So you're just you know, going to have to, I, I don't know if they would just put you in a, in a bath, uh, cool, try to cool you down and lower your core temperature and tell the stuff works its way through. Uh, it, it's uh, activity is not that long uh, and so forth. But I, I can't stress enough that um, even though I'm talking about it, uh, I, what I would hope uh, per my article, which again, is that it should be taken up again in research and controlled properly and, and, and uh, offered by medical professionals, but, um, you know, I hate to say this, but of course it's old and it's cheap and, um, uh, can't probably can't be patented and uh, so forth. And so there's probably not a lot of motivation f for that, which unfortunately what always ends up happening is a black market will exist and people will then use it, uh, from black market sources and they will use it, um, unsupervised, which is where the, you know, real, where the real danger comes in. So, um, so that's that's the quick lowdown, down and dirty on DNP. Not going to make this a long video. Uh, obviously, it's uh, um, but I, like I say, if you wanted to sort of a, a little fun history discussion on how how long it's been around and how I sort of uh, was was made aware of it, um, but it wasn't something that I personally ever recommended or ever used with any athletes that I uh, that I worked with. I mean, um, all I ever did was just make sure that. Uh, if they found it or was using it by somebody else's advice, that at least their uh, dosing um, wouldn't be toxic or wouldn't be, uh, yeah, wouldn't be dangerous at least. And, um, but, uh, and like I say, and the re feedback generally was that people reported just feeling really awful on the stuff. Um, but again, there's a lot moving parts. So uh, questions, comments, like this video, of course, uh, follow this channel, obviously brought to you by uh, Alpha Joe. Coffee booster, tastes good, feels good, good for you. Um, didn't cure my cold, but uh, <clears throat> a lot of people are really sick right now. So uh, I, 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 you know, it, it's not the worst cold in the world, so don't feel bad for me. And if you have this cold, you know, I know for myself, let's uh, change slight topics. Um, 
you know, I'm, I'm taking all the things I always take for colds, up my D and my vitamin C and elderberry extract and whey and zinc and uh, so on and so forth. I, I almost never have to resort to any meds. And um, good data there as far as reducing the length and severity of colds. Um, and so that's, I, I think that's pretty much, for me, hearing from other people, I think I, I'm doing better than most probably because of, of, uh, of, of that, of going that route and taking that, all that stuff. And uh, it's already on its way out. So hope you liked the vid. I'll see y'all on the Brink Zone.